Good evening. It is Sunday, August 30th. It's a slightly chilly day on a bank holiday weekend. Um, and I'm back in the reading nook. And I have quite a parcel to open. But do you know what's in this? Uh, I've been holding off. I came right yesterday, so I didn't leap into it. I was holding off to open it today. So um, this has been sent from, uh, let's have a look, South Carolina. So uh, the person knowing this, uh, who sent this to me will, will know what it is. That's um, Keith Magu. That's no, Keith Magu, um, uh, essentially. Um, and uh, let's get to it. So let's get the knife. Um, Anything in there, a bit of colour, but let's just start pulling it. Okay. Right, big pile of bubble wrap. Okay. In the midst, we have things. So, first off, okay, oh, big things. We have um, the Overlight uh, Quick Start. Um, and uh, Pathfinder, a bit of trouble in Big Absalom, that's Starfinder Adventure, uh, no, so that's Pathfinder, it's in, um, Pathfinder, a little trouble in um, Absalom, and then on the back, Skitter, uh, uh, Skitter on home, I think that's the Starfinder Adventure, so these have been packaged up, um, so you've got, sort of, there's a couple there, and then the smaller things, just got a bundle of those in, so I will, Slice those open. So what's really, what's the whole point of these is, here we go, uh, a Juno Brave Survival Guide um, from Renegade Games and uh, Kids on Brooms. Okay, and level one. Now you're wondering why I've got all these little books. Well, they're all from a free RPG day, uh, 2020, and unfortunately, uh, no one in the Midlands here in the UK was doing free RPG day. Now, normally, what happens is that I find a dealer and I manage to pick up everything. Now, I pick, and it's not necessarily greed or anything. Basically, the reason I pick up everything is because I want to review it. I want to talk about it. I want to promote it, just as I do with any other the reviews. And I will work my way through the reviews over the course of of, of, of June, sort of like into July. Because it takes me a few weeks, because I've got several things here. I mean, I've got, there's, there's, there's six things here. Um, yeah, six. Um, so there's lots of little pieces. Yeah. Um, but uh, the great thing was that Keith said, oh, my local shop has got a whole load of things. Can I send them to you? And I said, yes, thank you very much. It uh, cost me $40, but to be fair, it's not an unreasonable amount. So I'm going to be, you know, I think so. What I've got here is a free RPG Day Indie RPG Anthology Level 1. Um, a Junior Brave Survival Guide to the Apocalypse. Um, essentially, this is uh, basically playing, uh, um, essentially, given of Eagle Scouts or, you know, Boy Scouts in, um, in the post apocalyptic setting. Um, kids on Brooms. Uh, this is basically kids on bikes, but on brooms, so doing the whole sort of like magical school sort of thing. Um, so uh, lots of little things that I will get to review in due course. Um, and the advantage of the other advantage, of course, is with the little things is that it's a big, they take a little less time, um, which means it gives me time to concentrate on the bigger books. The bigger books do take a bit of time; they take a lot much longer to read and to get into. So, um, that's uh, some books for um, RPG Day uh, 2020. I know it's going to be a bit late, but I will get to review them. Um, 
and I hope you'll come and read those on my blog, uh, Reviews from Rillier. Um, I want to thank Keith absolutely for taking the time to post these to me. I appreciate the effort. Um, you know, uh, he'll say, oh, it's fine, That's, that doesn't matter. But no, I do appreciate it. It does matter. Um, you know, he is helping me um, to, to write more uh, and get me books that I want to get hold of to write about. And I really appreciate that. Um, because otherwise RPG Day 2020 would have been a complete bust for me this year um, and uh, it's sort of like um, it's one of the rituals sort of in the middle of the year I go to my I mean, not my local game shop because I have to travel to the next town uh, to find the nearest uh, stockist um, get a hold of everything to start writing about it and reviewing and, and things like that and it means I can look at the little get a lot of the little games that I wouldn't otherwise. Um, so I will have the first of those reviews coming out in a few weeks, and I'll try and get through those reasonably quickly because obviously, free RPG Day was back in June. I don't want to be hanging around with them, um, but I will get there anyway. Um, thank you very much for watching yet another unboxing. Thank you again, Keith. I do appreciate you. Um, uh, um, uh, basically uh, sending those over um, and uh, I, I hope you'll be back um, for another unboxing and to read the reviews okay thanks for watching